Hello fellow Rosarians, thank you for joining me today. We have a new unboxing from a company that I haven't ordered from before, so I'm really excited about that. You all shared this with me on my Facebook page. I wasn't even aware that they were out there, and you know how many unboxings I've done. So this is exciting. This company is called Chateau de la Rose. They're located in Oklahoma. They have a very easy to use website and uh, you'll find when you're searching on their page that they have um, some hard to find David Austin's. This is a family owned business. They propagate on site and it's going to be um, a vendor site that you're gonna to wanna to check back re uh, regularly because they're going to be updating the site as inventory becomes available. So I look at it every day just to see what they have. You can also sign up for notices if there's something that you're looking at that they're out of stock. I did that with one of the roses uh, that's here in the order and prior to shipment, I was able to reach out to them and ask them to add it to my order and we'll talk about pricing but they were really nice every single time I reached out lots of information I know that you're gonna be happy with this vendor so uh, let's see one gallons here before I get into the details of the cost and what I bought and the warranty let's open some boxes because I'm really excited <laughs> so I bought four roses oh they're heavy <laughs> so that tells me that they've been watered in well. So as we are opening a potted rose, what are we looking for? We are looking to make sure that the rose stayed moist in shipment. Um, it should be leafing out some vendors, depending on who it is. They defoliate the rose, take off the leaves. In the event that it gets a lot of humidity in the box, it could end up getting black spot, where uh, it leaves from the vendor black spot free, but in the um, packaging, it could arrive to you with black spot, and it's not a big deal because you can just defoliate it and it'll flush out new leaves, good as new. Um, do, we're expecting that the soil typically, you know, they, there's a lot of different things that the vendor will do, but trying to keep that um, soil moist a lot of times they're going to cover it with plastic the whole pot to keep the soil in place and keep it moist sometimes they put paper on top bottom line we want to check that soil and make sure that it's moist we want to make sure that the green the leaves if it's flushing out are bright green we want to make sure what else i don't know uh, but let's go ahead and look oh we want to make sure that it's a variety that we bought and it's the size that we are expecting Oh, how pretty. Oh, okay. Let's open this up. Look at this. I immediately saw this sparkle down here and I'm real excited. It feels like a gift, a gift from me to me. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, it's such a nice size. Oh, it's got, um, it's got like a seatbelt in here to hold it. Let me open this here. A seatbelt here to hold it. And so it's not going anywhere. Let me see. I need to cut it out. What I like about buying from small businesses is not only do you get to talk to somebody who's passionate about roses and can answer your questions, but the packaging, you know, they put so much care into this. You can tell that their roses are well loved. Oh my gosh, the number of blooms on this rose, I'm dying. I'm guessing that this is White Dawn, uh, but I'll look at the label here in a second. Look how pretty the packaging is. It really feels like it's a present to me. <laughs> Let me show you all these blooms that are already on this. Um, I'll share about White Dawn in a minute, but let me see if they put a label in here. So they did a great job keeping the soil in here. It's got a lot of weight, so I already know that the soil is moist in here. Typically, um, I would take out the rows from the pot just to see if it's rooted well into the pot, but I don't even need to do that because I'm looking at the overall height on this rose. This is definitely going to be rooted well into this pot to be able to produce this amount of growth. I don't need to take it out. Uh, let me see, they've got a nice stick in here like we see with a lot of our vendors to make sure that it doesn't move around in shipment. Excellent package, it's moist, I'm happy. Uh, looking at the leaves, 
I don't see any kind of pest or concerns at all. It didn't get too hot in shipment. Um, if it gets too hot or dry, you're going to see crispy brown leaves. But this rose is so happy. Oh my gosh. Oh, I do see a tag here. I'm guessing new dawn or white dawn, but let me see. It's white new dawn. So I'll tell you about this Friday in a second. Another wonderfully packed rose and they have secured it to its uh, bamboo here. Let's open this one up. I am just tickled right now with the quality of these roses. This has beautiful new growth. I'm seeing uh, little buds here already on this. I can't wait to see these take off. So the benefits of buying a potted rose uh, if you're a new rosarian is that they're ready to go. You put them in the ground. Um, I would probably, I use Biotone, but let's look into their um, directions and see if that's any warranty issue. Um, but you are going to use liquid fertilizer for the first year because these are still very young. So you're not going to want to use uh, rose tone, um, a granular. So let's do um, uh, liquid fish fertilizer, maybe bonide. Um, and then you could still use your booster if you're using uh, Great Big Roses. So this rose is Os Verse, and I'll tell you about that variety in a second. Uh, but this one looks very healthy. I'm not seeing any pest uh, disease damage. They did an amazing job packaging this. How did they send this? They sent these uh, UPS grounds. Oh, no. And they even have, let me hold on one second. They even have a sticker in here with this one that says, I'm very thorny. I do see thorns. Looks like I did have one little tiny snap. Oh, no, I got two. I have two snaps in here. Um, but that's okay because this rose has a lot of growth on it. I'll just cut those off. If it's out of pattern, I might pop them in the dirt. <laughs> so we'll see what variety this is. I'm guessing that this one is Rambling Raptor. I'm not seeing the tag right now, but with the amount of growth that we have on this baby, uh, I really think this is Rambling Raptor, and I'll tell you about that in a second. Okay, I think that this one is the fairy. Uh, fairy, I'll tell you about, but it's an earth kind rose. Oh, look. How wonderful. Very heavy. Whatever I paid for shipping, I know what I paid for shipping, and it wasn't enough. Uh, <laughs> these, these roses um, are really packaged nicely. Let me look at this tag really quick just to confirm. And this is the fairy. So I am really tickled with the quality and the size, uh, the health of the rose. I don't see any issues at all. And it's got so many buds on this rose just ready to pop. Oh, I can't wait to share this with you. So let's get into um, the the company a little bit more. So I think that you'll find when you're using their website that it's very easy to use. As I mentioned, they have a chat function that I used multiple times uh, to be able to correspond with them. They do, uh, they did mention as I was chatting with them that they do custom propagation. So in the event that you have an old rose on your property that you're hoping to um, to propagate, they can help you if you don't feel like it's something that you can do. So make sure that you reach out to them um, so that they can uh, help you with that and work on whatever cost is involved. Um, this, they wrote to me and said that they're growing and sharing love, memories, time, and helping people. That they love their plants. They have lots of hands-on time with them and sometimes up to two years before they go to their forever garden. And then she says, sometimes it feels like you're giving away a puppy. And I can imagine how that feels because you're loving and nurturing this plant and making sure that it's healthy. And then when it goes off to its new home, it's with, um, you know, it's with mixed feelings. You know, that you're happy that you, you're sharing uh, rose with somebody, but then it can be sad. Can you imagine? 
Um, so they feel that way about their roses, and it shows in the, um, in the quality of these plants. And then she wrote, think about how many people have a special memory attached to a rose. Even if you're just window shopping, waiting for yours to arrive, planting and caring for them, or having a nice morning cup of coffee with them, you're making memories. And it's just a little bit of happiness in the world. And this makes us so grateful to be able to grow more than just plants, but memories. So they, uh, let's see... They, they feel that it's important to keep the antique roses and the fragrant roses um, in circulation. And they are one of the few um, that, are licensed, that are licensed and registered as an own root nursery in the state of Oklahoma. The roses are not kept in a greenhouse, so they get used to the environment there in Oklahoma. And I think that that helps to uh, make sure that they're not too tender and that you have to baby them. So that's a really good thing. So let's talk about the varieties really quick. The last one that I unboxed was the fairy. I'm sure you've seen the fairy a lot, but I didn't have it. And so the fairy is an earth kind rose, which means that um, it requires no chemicals. It's an easy to grow rose. Um, and so this one will grow two to four feet uh, tall and wide. It has pink, su pink uh, summer heat can turn the flowers white, but they're primarily pink uh, petals. It has a mild apple fragrance, and the average diameter is one and a half inches. So it's a small um, double bloom form, and it blooms continuously through the season. The next one that I got... Um, is off verse, which we know is false staff. It's dark red, it has a strong old rose fragrance, the average diameter is three and a half inches, it's cut old fashioned, and it's a once bloomer. So what does that mean is that I mark mine um, now so that I'm not messing with them. After the first flush, you give them a little trim and then not again until after the bloom the following year. The height on this is going to be three to five feet uh, tall and wide. The next one that I got is White New Dawn. I just added New Dawn, and I, so I decided that I wanted to have White New Dawn close to it so we can uh, look at the difference between the two. This is going to grow big. This is going to grow 12 to 14 inches, and it'll be up on our fence line. It's going to have a rose fragrance, and it's an occasional repeater in the season. Now, the last rose that I want to share with you that I got makes me nervous. And it was available from a, a, a vendor, Bear Root, in the fall, and I thought about it and thought about it, and I just pictured you know, this rose that um, could be a monster and take over a bed if I wasn't watching it. Um, but I saw it at Michael Marriott's garden up against his house, and that's Rambling Rector. And so I've been trying to figure out where I could put it. And so I'm going to make it my mission. You know, some people have shared with me that Peggy Martin is kind of hard to contain. But I've done a really good job keeping her in check. And I think that as long as I'm checking these things, you know, every week or so and tying things in, hopefully I'll be okay. <laughs> but if I'm not, you guys are going to have to come find me if I'm, if it swallowed me up like, um, what is this, a little shop of horrors. So anyways, but um, I'm excited to try Rambling Rector. I haven't decided if I'm going to let it grow up a tree, but I might. I just have a concern about could it overtake the tree and the tree will succumb. So we're going to figure out where to put it and we're going to watch it and I'll keep you posted. Um, but so these are the uh, four roses that I bought. I'm super excited about. And I hope that you're as excited to check out this vendor as I was. Make sure that you're checking them regularly. Put your email address in to get notices. Oh, I didn't even talk about the prices yet or the warranty. I'm just so excited to, to get with my plants. All right, let's look at this real quick. Okay, what did I pay? I paid $32 for New Dawn, $32 for the Fairy, $42 for the David Austin Rose, Falstaff, and then $32 for Rambling Rector. So the prices vary um, on their site, at, but I do want you to be aware that if you sort things by low to high, they do have sales. You can get Caldwell Pink, 
a gallon for $15 right now. You can get the Old Blush Climbing for $15. Um, there's a, Corda, a Cordes here, Cortema. I'm not sure if that, that's Dortmund. Uh, but anyways, the Green Rose for $20. Check out the, um, the roses that are marked down also. I think you've got some great deals there. In fact, who is this little rose? Oh, ballerina, awesome rose. Um, so make, make sure you check out their uh, prices. Or what is the warranty on this? The warranty is 30 days. Um, we're gonna be able to tell, these are already leafed out, they're blooming, they're happy. Uh, in 30 days, we're gonna be able to tell if there's any issue. Um, so they guarantee that their plants are gonna be true to the variety that you've selected and they're going to be healthy. Um, just contact them if you have any issues at all and they will address them for you. Um, what am I going to do with these? Um, let's say, am I going to put them in the ground right away? Yes, because they're already one gallon. Typically, I, I, um, if it's under a gallon, I grow them in my, uh, my nursery and I keep potting them up until it reaches one gallon. But because these are already one gallon, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the ground. I'm going to use Biotone. Let me see if they say anything on here really quick about they're saying that you can use miracle Grow, but the important thing there is that they want you to use a liquid. So we're in the same, um, we're talking the same language there that we want to use liquid-based for a year. I prefer organic, so I'm going to use a bone-eyed fish fertilizer and then I'm going to boost it with my great big roses. Uh, but they have a nice fact page here. How long can I leave it in my original pot? So make sure you check that out too. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing as much as I did. I cannot wait to go find a home for these in our garden. And I'll see you in the next one.